<clears throat> Rashi, the beginning of the parsha, comments on the uh, smichus of parshias that the parshas Nosel ends off with the Hanukkah Sanesim and what they brought for Hanukkah San Mishkan. And uh, this week's parsha opens up with the mitzvah, or the tzivu of Balos HaSaneros, you know, the din of uh, lighting the Neros HaMarocha, lighting the Menorah and the Beis HaMikdash. And Rashi brings the name of Chazal that uh, the reason why these two parshas are together is that Aaron felt bad. He and neither, neither he, neither Shevet Levi took part in the Hanukkah Sanesim. And he felt uh, deprived uh, of the opportunity. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu comforts him that Shochog Gedol Mishalahem, what you do is bigger than what they're doing. Uh, that Sha'ata Madliku Meitivis Haneros, you will light and you will also every day uh, set up the candles of the Menorah. Rashi only brought part of the Chazal that he's quoting. The Medrash Rabbah that he is based upon uh, goes on to say like this. Uh, what? No, sorry, that, that the, that's the Ramban's there. Right, the, uh, the Medrash Rabbah that Rashi is based on goes on to say like this. Velo od, right, not only that, that you know, it's, it's as it were, lighting the menorah is more choshev, but they brought korbonus, and korbonus a rock bismancha based on mikdash kaya. But shocha, le'oila, el mu pnei ha menorah yeiru shivasaneros. Forever. El mu pnei ha menorah yeiru shivasaneros. Hadloka saneros is forever. That's so very hard to understand. Right? No one's been mekayim that mitzvah since korbon abayas, just like no one was mekayim the uh, mitzvah of korbonus ever since korbon abayas. Why is it called that the neiros hamarocha are forever? Oh, that's <clears throat> to understand this, we have to discuss the uh, you know, the anticlimactic feeling that uh, everyone uh, still must feel. You go from Shavuos, which is uh, you know Matan Torah, and it doesn't get higher than that. And the experience that they had at Har Sinai was the greatest Gilui Elokus, the greatest divine revelation that there ever was in history and ever will be. There will never be another Mahmud like that ever again. Right, this is a one-time thing that Kodesh Baruch Hu revealed himself to the maximum. Of course, it was necessary for pragmatic reasons because we had to be sure that Moshe Rabbeinu is really representing the God. And you know, not, uh, you know, he's not selling us a bill of goods. So the Baruch Hu had to reveal himself to maximum to, you know, so Gam B'cho Yaminu so we should have eternal faith in Moshe Rabbeinu that he gave us the, the real stuff from the real God. But still... <laughs> Where do you go from there? You have the highest Mahmud in history, right? The greatest event. And it seems to be all downhill from there. It doesn't, never gets as good as that. <clears throat> so the Indian is, I think, uh, you know, could be understood, you know, and that uh, from our minute that we set up the Parshish as such that every year after Shavuos, we read Parshish Naso immediately, and of course, Parshas Nosa and Parshas Baloscha are linked as per the Rashi we just quoted, that Baloscha with the mitzvah of Ner Hanukkah is talking, of, I'm sorry, I meant the Neros of the Menorah. <coughs> or is, uh, is, that's Aaron's part, because he didn't take, place of the, didn't take part in the uh, Hanukkah Sanesim. <coughs> the is like this. Right, you can have a tremendous revelation, right, but... What makes it permanent? So it's a very interesting halacha. Right? We mentioned, Maman Arsia was the greatest Gilui Elokus there ever was. Is there any halacha you're not allowed to go up to Har Sinai? Ever since Maman Arsinai. All right? The Torah says before, Shpim Shochayovel Hemayalu Bahar. The din of the Hagbola was only for the Zman of Maman Arsinai. When Bim Shochayovel, and will be the big shofar blowing, that the Shina was Nistalik Lamala, Yalu Bahar. Whereas the Beis HaMikdash in Yerushalayim, which is the final form of the Mishkan, which is what we start reading about, you know, after, you know, Parshish Nosso, Hanukkah HaMishkan, in the Beis HaLom. Now, the Mishkan was portable. It was never in one spot permanently. So you understand that there's no Kedushas Mokom, any place where the Mishkan ever was. But in Hara Moria, Hara Bias, which was the, you know, over there was the Mokom, Mokom Shiftacha Oilomim, as the Pasuk says. That's where the Shekhinah is meant to dwell forever. 
there is a halacha of not going up to our bias. Afilu bismanazeh, that the bias is bechorbana. Afilu that even the bias, besiti farta, even bias rishon, there was never anything as great as Mamad Ar Sinai. And if Chazal count the Asar Nisim that there were in the Beis Hamikdash day in and day out, but it's nothing like the Gilu Yelukus that there was by Mamad Ar Sinai. And so there is a halacha that you can't, that has Kedushas Makom, and you can't go up there. Afilu. Bisman Shabesa Mikdash Khorif. Or even a time when the base is laying desolate. How is that? Why is that? Because just because there's a great revelation, that doesn't mean that that uh, great revelation was internalized. You have a big, you know, great flash of light. But if it didn't get put into Caleb, didn't get absorbed into vessels, didn't get internalized, when it's over, it's over. When it's over, it's as if it never happened. When it's over, it's over. The, the Gilui of Mamar Har Sinai, something so awesome that Amiso couldn't take it. Parcha Nishmasa. They couldn't, that's why they were begging Moshe Rabbeinu to get back in the middle. Dabra Atav and Nishma, Vayi Dabra Kim Pen Nomus. They were begging Moshe Rabbeinu to get in the middle. It was too much for them to take. So, for all the intensity of the, of the Ma'amad, right, that ore was too big to fit into Caleb. Right? That was too big to fit in, you know, to be internalized within Olam Azeh. And that's where the Mishkan comes in. And this is a Ramban that shows parallels between the halachas of Mora Mikdash, and you know, not every you can't you can't treat it lightly, and not everyone could go. You know, there's where you know the Zorim could go, there's where the Kohanim could go. All the halachas of Mora Mikdash and the Giliashina of the Mishkan is sort of resembles what there was at Har Sinai. The difference is that this Kedusha is in Caleb. This was absorbed. V'shachanti b'soicham. B'socham lo nemar el b'socham. The Kedusha Samishkan represents that the Divine Presence is settled within Am Yisrael. So this is what the verb chinuch means. Chanukah sabais. What is chinuch? Chanuch l'nar al pi darko gam ki yaski lo yasari mena. Like this, the art. The art. If you're a mechanic, uh, a child in his way, meaning in the way that he could relate to, gam kiyaskin, even when he grows old, he's not going to stray from the Torah. Chinuch is the art of giving over the ore of the Torah in a way that it settles well with the Talmud. Right? And that's, that's why it's a special verb that has to do with teaching and has to do with putting Kedusha, like Hanukkah Sabais. What's the common denominator? Because uh, a mechanech, as opposed to stama malam, it just throws information at you. A mechanech that knows to go with a kid, lefi darko, to make the Torah and him shtim, congruent. That causes the Torah to get settled in him. Right? And therefore, gam kiyaskin lo yasri men, it's going to stick with him forever. Right? And that scene of chanuk kasa mishka, the of chinuch, is to put the or of gilu ishchina into kalim. And now it's v'shachanti b'socham. It's, you know, it's as awesome as it is, we are, as it were, to a certain degree, reconciled with it, internalizing it, feeding off of it, growing from it, as opposed to what it was by Mamre Asinah, where Pacha Nishmasam, they couldn't hack it. So indeed, as much as, you know, seemingly, the gilui, a shechina, that there is in the Mishkan, is less than what there was at Mamre Asinah, but it's a much higher mila for us, because it's the ore that we can relate to and internalize and utilize. But then there's one step higher than that. Right? Baha los chasaneros. Very interesting verb used. Right? Raise the candles up. Right? And there's a lot of drushes in the midrashim. You know, why this verb was used? Baha li chasaneros. Right? So all the different drushes, they shall have us omelet. The fire has to climb. But think about what is going on. Aliyah. Going, Ali is going bottom up. That's the opposite of what happened at Mamar Dar Sinai. Vayere Dashen Al Har Sinai. Right, Torah went from Shemayim to Oretz. Right, Mamar Dar Sinai is the Torah and the Tusha going top down from Shemayim to Oretz. Vayere Hashem Al Har Sinai. The Lord says, Rashi, Hirchin El Yonim Al Tachonim. Mamish bent El Yonim Al Tachonim. Parshas Baaloscha, the Indian of the Nerosama Racha that we give light to God who's the source of light. And light is, you know, a, a marshal, right? It's a marshal for anything holy. It's a marshal for the Torah. Kiner mitzvah v'toyra or, or what we call Torah in Aramis, oiraisa. 
It's an amazing thing that Parshas Baloscha shows that the Torah was so internalized by us that we're giving it back to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. As if Torah starts from here. Torah's Euler. Originally Torah was Yored from Shemaim to Oretz. Now as the Pasch says, Emes Me'eretz Titzmach. Right? We're bringing up, we are giving, being Meir Misha Meir Lekolam Kulo, we're giving Divrei Torah back to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Chidushei Torah. And that's what it says in Svarim, that the aura of the Menorah is connected to Torah Shabal Peh. The Torah Shabal Peh is the Torah that's in us, and we expand it, and we, uh, we're Mechadish in it, and it's called that we're giving light back to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, who is the source of light. And, and this is the highest, you know, this was the tachlis of what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wanted. When he gave Torah, he really wanted to give it, that it should be ours, and that we should be making Torah. We should be making the Or HaTorah. Right? And that never stopped. Right? So as much as we never had an experience like Mamad Ar Sinai, but the tachlis of Mamad Ar Sinai, what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wanted, Torah should be by us, and the Torah should be, you know, the, uh, the uh, Ner Mitzvah, which is the Torah Shabbat Peh, the halacha should come from the Ner Hashem Nishmas Adam. The Olam should be the candle, right? That brings out the Orator. The Torah should rise from here. Right? That shows that, you know, Mamad Ar Sinai was a successful project, successfully taking something from the highest heavens and implanting it within the earth, and now Chidush Torah growing up from earth. Right? And that's what the Neris represent. We give light, which is Or HaTorah, like Kiner Mitzvah Torah, to our Kurdish Baruch, who is the source of all light. <clears throat> and that's what it means in the Medrash, that the Medrash in this week's parsha talks about, you know, it talks about Rosh's about Maisa and Menorah, all different types of miraculous things that went into the construct of the Menorah, and it says, Lefi Koch, when Nebuchadnezzar came to destroy the base of Medrash, they couldn't find the Menorah. The Menorah was one of the five things that were Nignaz. The Menorah wasn't destroyed, it was hidden. And that's really what the Chazar are alluding to. The menorah wasn't destroyed. The Beis was destroyed. The madrega that the Karbonus represent was annulled from us, Bab, and I'll say no Arabim, and that's what we mourn by every Tishaba. But the madrega that the menorah represents, that the Torah is by us, and whenever we have a suffix, right, we could find the answer within ourselves, the way it was ever since Moshe Rabbeinu was Nifter, ever since Moshe Rabbeinu was Nifter. Right? No one in history, ever since Moshe Rabbeinu, ever asked HaKadosh Baruch Hu, what's the halacha? If he does that, you kill him on the spot. He's a Navi Sheker. Lo Right? From the days of Yoshua ben Nun, in the words of Rambam, Mashiase Ravina Veravashi, Hu Mashiase Yoshua Vepinchas. Ever since Moshe Rabbeinu, you know, he brought the Torah down. Ever since then, the Torah has to rise up from earth. Right? <coughs> And if we have a suffix, we have to find the clarity within ourselves. And that shows the godless of Yotzer Bracious, that he could rewire the cosmos, that the Torah that came from the highest place in heaven is now on earth, and it rises up from the earth. And that's what it means. What the menorah, the koach of the menorah. So even though we don't do the technical mitzvah of Hadlokas on menorah, but that madrego was not destroyed. That's what it means. The menorah was nignaz, it's in hiding, but it wasn't nechrav. That madrego still exists. And it's the power of Torah Shabal Ped, the koch that we could find and create Chidush Torah to answer any suffix as a countermeasure to any doubt or any challenge that arises. And that's the greatest godless of Matan Torah. The Torah really now is here on earth and we could always find within ourselves the clarity and the strength. Okay.